There are a lot of influencers that have tens and thousands of followers but don't have tens of thousands of dollars in their bank. I think a common misconception in social media is that the amount of followers equate to the amount of money coming in. What I'm here to tell you today is that you do not need a ton of followers to still make money on social media. I think a lot of people think this because they see all these people with followers and they're like, wow, you know, they must have so much money when in reality, you can also be making money and not have millions of followers. And today, that is what I'm gonna be explaining and that is what we're gonna be talking about. And I'm so excited because at the end of the day, we all have that opportunity to grow. We all have that opportunity to get some monetization here and there on different media sites. And it really is simple. So again, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that you're able to like, comment, and subscribe so that you're updated with our new tips and tricks. And of course, check out our other social media channels like Instagram, TikTok, our website, and many more. But just make sure that you are staying informed so that you can keep watching these videos and you can keep receiving all these tips and tricks that are definitely needed in your marketing strategies and in your future business, product, or service. So let's dive right in. So the first one is getting paid for a sponsored post. Many people believe that you can only get sponsorships, again, if you have millions of followers, if you have all this engagement, and that is not true. There are so many micro-influencers that get sponsored posts all the time. I mean, I've even seen people with a thousand followers, with 800 followers, with 600 followers getting sponsored posts. At the end of the day, it's making sure that you're reaching out to the right people and making sure that they're willing to invest in who you are and how you present yourself to them. And essentially, it's just, you know, their values, their mission as a brand. And a lot of times, a lot of brands do just want those micro micro influencers and want, you know, smaller pages and stuff to promote their brand because it's showing them that at the end of the day, anyone can use their products, not just people with millions of followers, which I think is amazing. And I think that even if you are a micro influencer, you should try doing some sponsored posts, even if it's for, you know, a soap, a water bottle, anything that you feel that you really like their product and you really want to promote it because honestly, you're probably promoting anyways for free on your story I mean how many times have all of us really posted a product that we really love on our story all the time and were we getting paid no so might as well do this and get sponsored and make sure that you are getting paid for that post so the second thing is starting an Instagram shop I know that many people feel that this might be some foreign territory to them, but starting to sell some products on Instagram or even showing other people the kind of products that you're buying will really help bring in that influence perspective and really help gear in some audience so that you can make some side money and you can also be making some money from social media. I definitely encourage it and if you really want to start selling or also showing other people products that you're interested in, try it out because I totally recommend it. So the third thing is to promote affiliate links. And essentially what an affiliate link is, is when a company um, has kind of like small incentives for individuals that sign up with this link. So if you give your link to someone else, let's say there's a product, let's say it's a bracelet, you know, a brand that sells bracelets. If you bring that link and you send it to someone else and or if they use your link or your code to get like 10% off, essentially you're getting some sort of that money from a bigger brand, but you also are still making money, but you also are still making money and still getting in that revenue just by sending someone your link and just by sending someone their code. So definitely check out affiliate links. There's so many companies that do affiliate links and it's so simple to set up. You just set up an account, sign in, and then you also like, you know, give them all your information for your bank account and all that 
stuff. Of course, it's safe and it's secure, but you also will just get that money in and you'll be able to make some money, even if it's, you know, just a little bit, but you are making some money. Number four is making money from your content. And essentially this can range in so many different avenues. I mean, there's people that make content and then maybe sell it to a brand or reach out to a brand and be like, hey, I took photos with such and such product today. Would you be willing to um, buy it to use it on your platform? Such stuff like that. And then essentially, you know, there's that creative platform or that creative avenue with videographers and photographers and they'll actually, you know, make some short little reels, you know, they'll do shoot some content for other brands and then the brands will pay them for that. Um, so essentially reaching out to those different avenues can be really great. And then of course, in terms of the making money from your content, you know, getting monetized on YouTube, you know, joining the creator fund on TikTok, again, you know, doing the Instagram post, and also even there's even the Pinterest creator fund. So definitely just checking out the different avenues of making money on different social media platforms through your content is crucial because you're already making the content anyways. So might as well be making some money off of it too. So definitely check that out. So number five is becoming an Instagram coach or being paid to teach people about social media. I mean, this is a great way and great and easy way to make some money because there's people out there that really don't feel that they properly know how to utilize Instagram. So by doing this and by becoming a coach for someone else or even trying to manage their social media page, et cetera, is like that is awesome because you are making money off of something that you're super familiar with and to you it's like the back of your hand when other people do struggle with that so just by showing people different you know instagram tactics instagram tactics even showing them how to utilize instagram properly can be awesome because again they're not really sure how to properly use Instagram to build their business and to build a rapport with their audience, but you do and you can teach them how to do it and also make money while doing that as well. So definitely try finding those people or even promote your brand and promote your Instagram page as an Instagram coach, you know, someone that really teaches people how to use social media if that becomes your niche. I mean, I've seen it on TikTok so many times. There's so many people that their whole channel is just dedicated to showing people how to use social media. So if that sounds like something that's up your alley, I would definitely recommend it because it's such an easy avenue that you can maneuver. And then the last thing is to get paid for advertising your brand. There's so many people that are interested in your brands and your products and your services. So essentially, you just by showing that to other people, they're gonna be interested in investing in your brand and they're gonna wanna buy your products and they're gonna wanna utilize their services and essentially they're gonna wanna promote your brand on their platforms. I mean, again, we've talked about it before, trying to collaborate with other brands that align with your values and align with your products is a great way to not only expand your audience, but also other people are gonna be interested in promoting your brand, meaning more sales, more more engagement, more business, and overall, just a, another avenue to make money, again, without having millions of followers. So definitely trying to use these different tips that we talked about today is crucial because there's money out there to be made, and I think many people just assume because they don't, they're lacking in the numbers that they're not able to get that money financially. But what I'm here to tell you is that these tips and tricks have helped so many people skyrocket their business to places that they really wanted to be at. So again, don't shy away from trying to grow your brand and also growing your brand or not even just promoting your product, but also making money from the platforms that you're selling your products on because you're letting that money just come in passively and you really don't have to put as much work as you think you do. I mean, social media is a, is a lot of work. You know, it's a career for many people, but as someone who does understand social media efficiently, this should be something that should come second nature to you. And you, just by watching YouTube videos, doing some research, diving yourself into what exactly is the process of making money on social media, you will succeed. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And again, check out all of our other social media platforms so that you're in tune and you're informed with what we're posting and what we're getting out there for you. But anyways, 
Thank you so much for watching and have an amazing day.